there, sweetie. I want to give you your birthday present. My birthday present? Oh my gosh. So, happy birthday. I hope you like the surprise and I can't wait to go with you. just took the like train from the airport to the city of Paris and now we're trying to find a taxi to get to our Airbnb which is about 10 minutes away from here Alright, we need to figure out how to get into the building <laughs> Alright, so we've received a, a WhatsApp video Let us know what the code is Oh, it looks excellent. All right, room tour coming soon. Good morning, guys, from our sunny first day here in Paris. Alexia has very kindly cooked us breakfast, avocado on toast with our respective teas. We're gonna sit down and have a little think about what it is that we wanna do today where we want to go, what we want to see. Pretty excited. Good morning, guys. It is really sunny today, which we're very happy about. Alexia and I just got off at the Metro Invalide station. If you look behind me, you can see the Eiffel Tower. After that, we're going to go to Arc de Triomphe and Champs-Élysées. Rate my French in the comments down below. Anyways, we're just going to walk around, get some good views of the Eiffel Tower and explore a little bit of the city. Say hi, B. Alexia and I made it to this very, very Instagram-y spot. You should definitely follow me on Instagram if you're not already, and follow Alexia on Instagram. So where are we heading now? Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower, yeah. yeah. We're gonna walk around a bit and then head to the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. I think we've both really enjoyed the architecture here. Yeah. It's just different, it's different. It's something that we haven't seen before. I feel like Paris is kind of similar to London, just not as dense, not as congested and busy, but it still shares a lot of that same like inner city vibe. So we're doing a decent amount of walking around the Eiffel Tower and to this just, place, what's it called? Just what you wanted after your half marathon run. <laughs> yeah, my first ever half marathon. I ran it before yesterday and so my legs are, they feel like rock solid. Honestly, my calves are like cramping up with every step that I take, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Almost got attacked by a seagull. What, what is this called again, Likes? Trocadero. I don't know. Trocadero. No, we're not in Italy. <laughs> Alright, we're both gonna pronounce French words throughout this vlog, and you guys will have to comment whose French is better. It's hard to forgive you for making me feel like I'm falling. Realizing that your arms are my only city. So it's Fashion Week in Paris, which means walking around the city. Every now and again, we'll see something like this. Way bigger than I imagined. It's huge. 284 steps. <laughs> That's where we're going. Pretty far. So we just came from the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> 
blooper. <laughs> so we just came from the Eiffel Tower <laughs> and next stop, uh, Champs Elysees. Is that even? Is that it? Champs-Élysées We made it to Champs-Élysées Hopefully I'm pronouncing that at least half correct The sun is setting, the buildings look really nice The street is huge, it's so wide I think we came to Paris at a very good time because it's not that busy, it's not that crowded Yeah, it's a little bit cold but honestly it's alright We're all bundled up and warm wearing our turtlenecks so it's okay We were making our way over to the Les Entrées but unfortunately it's closed. The next best and closest thing is Five Guys. Maybe it's, it's different in France, so... Yeah, well we're gonna have the French Five Guys, the Paris edition. <laughs> no regrets. We are at Place de Concorde. The sky is looking absolutely beautiful. There's this big tower here which seems to have hieroglyphics on it. This is our last pit stop of the day before we head home. All right, guys, we have had a very long day. We've seen quite a few things. And now we're gonna head back to the Airbnb to warm up because we are freezing. And also get some good rest and relaxation in before we go out for dinner. Potentially. Walk down in the gardens. And pass by Angelina as well. Yeah, and then we can go to the Louvre. Uh, this is the, the nice bridge with the locks. Yeah. So if we have time, we'll do this area, like the bridge and the Notre Dame. You got that yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> Alright guys, I have managed to convince him to go to a museum. So that's where we're headed. We're gonna walk around in some really pretty gardens. Have a nice um, Pastry, even though Nasser hates dessert. I have a croissant though. Yeah, and then we're gonna go to the museum. All right, gotta get the metro. Two, one. It was a video. <laughs> Welcome to Paris day number two. two. <laughs> we're currently at the Jardin des something. Tuileries. 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 Yeah. We are at the Jardin des Tuileries. We're so lucky that it's like really sunny and not raining. Yeah. It would really be a shame to have to explore in the rain. And it's supposed to start raining in a couple of days. In fact, I think we might have gotten a sunburn yesterday. Oh yeah, true. Oh, when no. we got home, we realized we were both probably sunburned. We are on the beige one. Same scarf, same jacket, different pants, same shoes. Wow. Alright guys, so we're currently walking towards the Louvre, which is directly behind me. We got our midday coffees in order to re-energize, so we're gonna walk around a little bit, visit some of the surrounding areas over here before we actually go inside the museum. Greece, some old French paintings. What else did we see? Just everything. A bit of everything. Also had a nice little photo shoot outside of these pyramids over here. And now we're very, very hungry. We haven't eaten all day. It's like 5 p.m. So we're gonna try and go find something to eat and then decide if we're gonna go back home or stay out a little bit longer. Orange time. We had avocado for the last few days. So 
Abuto. And we've had Abuto's for the last few days, so I'm excited to have some pancakes. And some eggs. Good morning, guys. Welcome to day three of Paris. We've come to this fun spot called Holly's Bell. No, Holy Belly. I've gotten some eggs over here, and Alexia has gotten her pancakes with fruit. Are you excited to eat it? Yeah. Oh, I should have asked for more maple syrup. Mm. <laughs> I wanted berries, but these are the only fruits they had. Yeah. So we've got a really interesting day planned today. We're gonna go to the. Well, you guys will see. Keep watching the vlog. The lock doesn't fall. <laughs> of course, of course, <laughs> right through the crack. <laughs> what did I say? Be careful, the lock doesn't fall. Careful, the key doesn't fall. <laughs> and what did you do? So, we just put the locks on the bridge. Our fingers honestly almost fell off. We've now made it to Le Notre Dame, which unfortunately appears to be closed to the public. I guess because of the recent burning and now they're probably doing renovations and stuff. So, I don't think we can walk underneath it. Good morning, guys. Paris, day four. Woke up this morning to an email from one of my supervisors for the research project that I'm doing saying that they want the abstract finalized and sent over to them ASAP so they can finish it and submit it to the conference. So me and my research partner have just been in contact and working this morning. Uh, we've been sitting over here by the window getting some work done. We're almost finished now. So we're gonna finalize a couple of things, send that off and we'll be ready to explore another day in Paris. All right. So, what started off this morning as what was meant to be an hour of me and Alexia working has now turned into 2 p.m. and we're still at home. Uh, both of us had our own fires to put out in our respective things and it's taken way, 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 way longer than expected. We're currently trying to find somewhere to eat for lunch and hopefully once we find a suitable place, we can head out of the house, go walk around a little bit in the beautiful sun such a shame that we've had to stay inside for so long. Hopefully we can still make something of the day, but it has been a tiring morning. We're finally leaving the Airbnb. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And then we just decided to walk around nearby just because we didn't have too much time. We wanted to still do some work when we got back and we have dinner reservations at a really nice restaurant. So yeah, we decided to walk around. We got some healthy juices. I'm actually gonna try mine now. <laughs> mine does not taste that good. It's called Lucky Five. It has all of these things. Honestly, it's not bad, but it's just strange. Oh, our food's here. All right, bear me. All right, mine. Let's try it. I've seen a lot of people do these kind of shots and it always looks like it tastes nasty. No, I think... Oh, God. Anyway... Uh... Oh my God, how did you have that? We're gonna sit down and enjoy it while watching an episode of The Bachelor. <laughs> Let me show you guys. Me and Alexia are very, very hyped about this show. Probably a little bit too much. Obviously, we realize it's trash TV, but yeah, I it's feel super like trashy. recently we've watched a lot of like good quality Intense shows and, shows, and yeah. like ones that you have to think a lot. So we wanted to watch something a bit more relaxed. But yeah, we need something lighthearted, something yeah, chill exactly. to. Okay, gonna eat.
Alright. So, we just had the most romantic dinner with a beautiful view of the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. And really good food as well, actually. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, we really enjoyed that. Now we're heading home. Gonna watch some TV, sit on the couch, and enjoy the rest of the night. <laughs> Get a head start. We did. I had and? French toast. What did you have again? Hit what did I have? Mix oh yeah, everything. eggs with sausage. <laughs> anyway, in actually exciting news, what just happened? We booked you a flight. To London. Lex is coming to London for a couple of days. So we're going to extend our holiday a little bit. Un petit peu. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, where are we now? Oh, perfect. You can see so far. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty what foggy. Shame. Where are we now though? Sacré Cour. Yeah, we're in Montmartre. In Montmartre. At the church at the top of a hill, as you guys can see. So we're pretty much close to a lot of different metro stations and it's a very commercial area so there's lots of shops if we want coffee or food or things like that. Currently walking through a passage or a passage, which there seems to be quite a few of them here in Paris. They're just like these little alleyways I guess with stores on the left and right and they're really really cute. Bonsoir madame. revisit all the places that I really enjoyed while I was here. Try and see some new things as well and I'm gonna take you along with me. I've made it to an area called Montmartre. Montmartre, hopefully I'm pronouncing that okay. <laughs> for all of you French people, don't roast me in the comments. Alexia and I were here yesterday but I've come back for one very specific reason, um, which I will show you guys in a bit. Yesterday I saw an artist painting portraits of people, but he was just amazing. He drew everything using straight lines only. So I've come back to see if he's still here, and if he's free, I want to get a portrait done by him. This is my first time doing some exploring in a foreign country all by myself. I'm definitely somebody who isn't that great with being alone, uh, being with their own thoughts, so I'm happy to do this sort of get myself exposed to it and become better at it over time. All right, so it's 1.30 now. I'm waiting on the corner of the Plaza du Artiste. All right, guys, so I got the drawing done. Got it in this little blue rolly thing. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Just gonna go home, grab some quick lunch with Alexia, pack everything up, and then head back to the airport. Last lunch in Paris. I think it looks quite good. All right, even though it's the last day, we've managed to get some snails. <laughs> Our first experience with snail. We've been meaning to try them for a while, but we've ended up going to every single cuisine possible, except French. Except French. Except French. So on our last day, we vowed to have some French food. We have to fish it out. Got it. Oh gosh. What does it taste like? Mostly garlic. Almost pesto sauce. Is it a thumbs up? Thumbs up from me. Okay. <laughs> Guys, is this not the most aesthetic cup of coffee you've ever seen? <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Let me just say a quick bye. Bye, Paris. Bye, Paris room. We'll miss you. We'll be back. We will be back. We had such a good time.
What is up guys? I've just been editing the vlog and I've reached almost the end now and I realized that Alex, he and I never sat down and we didn't wrap up the vlog so I've jumped in here to do just that. First thing I want to say is that I know this video is very very long and if you've somehow managed to watch it the entire way through I'm really really thankful and I hope that you've enjoyed it. This was something very different for me. It was such a challenge filming over six days and cutting it down into one video. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you found it fun, and if you want to see more of Alexia in my videos and in my vlogs, please do let me know in a comment down below. Also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It was a lot of hard work putting this video together so I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you stick around for the future as well. Anyways, I'm rambling now. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Peace.